all guilty of being downright weird at times, but maybe that's just a unique quirk of ours. But weirdness doesn't just end with a human species. Plenty of animals and insects display strange behaviours which might seem odd at first, but are actually vital for their survival. Here are 12 of the weirdest things animals do, and just so you know, some of them are pretty darn gross. Before we begin digging into all the strange things that animals do, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more such amazing content. Here we go. Number 12. Strongest spider web on Earth Spider webs have long been considered as a scientific marvel. It's not made in a lab and designed by some guy in a lab coat with a science degree, it's just made in nature by this little guy, your average spider. These biomaterials are so incredible that they can absorb large amounts of energy before breaking apart. But there's one spider silk which is the king of all spider silk. The Darwin's bark spider produces the toughest silk in nature. More than twice as tough as the previously thought strongest spider silk, and ten times stronger than Kevlar. That's right, the same Kevlar used for producing bulletproof vests. These spiders can spin up a web which can reach up to 30 square feet in size. They're even known to build their webs over water bodies which are 82 feet wide. Since most spiders can't pull this off, the Darwin's bark spiders have an advantage in hunting over such places. It's like having a huge fishing net stretched across a lake. Impressive little creatures. Number 11. Gravity-defying Alpine Ibex You're probably familiar with this sight. Crazy Ibex is scaling treacherous terrains in search of food. It looks like they're going to fall off at any moment, but they won't. In this video, you see this professional climber scale a 160-foot-tall Singino Dam in the Antronovani Natural Park in Italy. What's so great about a dam, you might ask? The structure of the dam contains bricks with mineral salts which these Ibexes crave, and their vegetarian diet doesn't provide. Salt is extremely important for survival since it's required for the proper functioning of nerves and muscles. A female Ibex who's nursing requires it even more. Looking at them scale such steep slopes is enough to make you squirm, but these creatures are built for it thanks to their short legs, split hooves, soft concave undersides, and a low center of gravity. They're so comfortable up there that they often fight over who gets the better spot, a spot which is no bigger than a few inches. Number 10. Stone-eating crocs and gators You might have seen dogs eat grass. They do it as a digestive aid in case they're not getting enough fiber in their food. Similar phenomenon has been observed with alligators as well, where they swallow stones to help them digest their meals. But recent studies reveal that stone swallowing has another benefit. It shows that alligators which swallow pieces of rock are more likely to increase their dive time. This theory was conducted on a group of seven young American alligators who were studied before and after swallowing small sets of stones. Each of these seven gators went for 42 dives, half before swallowing stones and the other half after swallowing. It was observed that the alligators with stones showed a noticeably longer dive time compared to the ones without the stones. The dive time increased by an average of 88% in up to 35 minutes. These gastroliths also aid crocs in digesting prey with hard shell or bones by helping in grinding it down internally. Another side benefit is that the stones can also promote feelings of being full, especially when food is in shortage. Well, now you know. Number 9. Dead Ant Camouflage What is this weird mesh of different ants and insects? Looks like an experiment gone wrong. What you're seeing is just camouflage. The real insect is all the way below it, carrying this homemade camouflage on its back. The assassin bugs prey on ants and kill them using its proboscis, which injects these insects with a paralyzing saliva, mixing it in with an enzyme which dissolves the internal organs. The bug then sucks out the innards, and what it's left with is a hollow exoskeleton of multiple ants. These ants are then stuck together using a sticky secretion and mounted on the bug's back. It's been observed that they can carry as many as 20 ant exoskeletons. So how does this strange and macabre camouflage work? Spiders are one of assassin bugs' natural predators, but they usually don't hunt ants from fear of being swarmed. So these clever assassin bugs have this ploy to fool the spiders into thinking that it's a colony of ants roaming around. Turns out it works. Clever and sly. Number 8. Democratic Bison while bison don't have an elected official like we do, they do have a system close to a democratic society. They have the concept of majority votes. This unique behavior is noted in European bison when they have to decide on their next move as a herd. For example, if they want to move towards the grassland to graze, the group will face towards the direction of the grassland. Or if they would rather proceed towards a watering hole, they would turn in that direction. 
Eventually, one bison will make the first move and lead the entire group. If this initiator chooses the less popular option, only a few will follow, and the rest will continue with the other option. The group will then split up temporarily at this point, but later reunite again. Generally, females are the initiators and have the greatest number of followers. Sounds like a peaceful and respectful community within the animal kingdom. Number 7. Tear-Drinking Moths A truly unique and strange behavior was reported in the Amazon jungle in Brazil. A moth was seen drinking a sleeping bird's tears. What's the reason behind this strange behavior? It's already been observed that moths and butterflies drink the tears of turtles, crocodiles and mammals, but they do this since nectar doesn't contain salt. Salt is a rare nutrient to find out in nature for these moths, so they rely on tears from animals to get their sodium needs. Generally, they use their proboscide to suck up the salt in the flooded soil in the rainforest, but since the area was flooded with water this time, there was no way for them to retrieve it. Their tubular mouths are long enough to siphon off tears from these animals without waking or disturbing them. Hey, you do what you gotta do to survive, right? Number 6. African Lungfish Outer Water The African lungfish is not like any other fish. Unlike most fishes, the lungfish is capable of surviving in drought conditions. A fish living without water? That's correct. The lungfish detects the water shortage in its habitat and starts burrowing into the dirt. It then excretes a mucus cocoon around itself that conserves moisture and also allows air to flow freely. The shell enables them to survive for a long time when water conditions are less than favorable. It's been observed that they can survive up to four years in this state of dormancy. The fish goes a step ahead and digests its own muscle tissues to retrieve nutrients while in this cocoon stage. Science is trying to break down this process for applying it on humans for making space travel a lot easier in the future. Who knows, maybe in time we'll be able to travel to distant planets while being in a dormant state like these longfishes until we reach our destination. Number 5. Protective Parrotfish Bubble Imagine sleeping at night and you spend the whole night swatting away at mosquitoes, an experience which is shared by most of us on land, but you'd be surprised to know that something similar happens underwater. Fishes like the parrotfish or wrasse are at risk of certain parasites during the night while sleeping. So, in order to protect themselves, they create these unique mucus bubbles produced by special glands in their gills. The bubble protects these fish while asleep and stops any potential parasites from preying on them. They also rely on scraping their bodies against surfaces to get rid of the parasites or being around the cleaner fish as well, but they require a lot of energy and are time-dependent. A mucus cocoon is probably their best bet at surviving. Number 4. The Bombardier Beetle Meet this tough guy. The Bombardier Beetle is not your average bug to be trifled with. He's come locked and loaded with a unique weapon, and yes, it's in their behind. Whenever it feels threatened, the beetle releases a concoction of chemicals on its potential predator. The abdomen is split into chambers, one of which holds a cocktail of hydrogen peroxide and hydroquinones. When the moment presents itself, the beetle pushes out this cocktail into another chamber in its abdomen and mixes it with a catalyst which sets off the chemical reaction. The resulting attack is a mix of hydrogen peroxide decomposing into oxygen and scalding hot water and numerous other chemicals. The beetle is able to release these bursts of chemicals at an incredible 500 bursts a second. Anything caught in its path is in for chemical burns and much worse. Don't mess with a bombardier beetle. Number 3. Honeybee Suffocation What do you get when you put together a swarm of Japanese honeybees and Asian giant hornets? You get a bunch of cooked hornets. Bees don't just sting their predators to death, they can cook them up using a unique technique. The swarm of bees surround the hornets and cook them alive by raising the temperature merely by vibrating their bodies. The vibration of the muscle fibers of so many bees in a small area can produce heat of up to 117 degrees Fahrenheit. That's enough to kill off most of their predators. Needless to say, these poor hornets have no chance against these Japanese bees. Number 2. Slimy Mouthful Now for something gross and slimy. These slimy, slithery creatures are known as hagfish. What makes them so interesting is their defense or offense mechanism. When it's close to a predator, they excrete a slimy mucus into the water. This then reacts with the water and creates this super slimy mixture. It's so slimy that it's hard to pull them apart. The unlucky predator or prey caught in this slimy mess ends up being suffocated by its highly viscous form, getting trapped in the gills. It's so slimy that in 2017 on an Oregon highway, a truck carrying these fish got into an accident. The crash set all the hagfish loose and the result was this. A road covered in their slime. Cars following the truck got caught in the mess as well. 
In the end, firefighters had to wash down the highway with 5,000 gallons of water. Number 1. Ribbon Worms Shooting Webs Spider-Man is in town? Well, sort of. What you're looking at is a ribbon worm which is capable of shooting this intricate-looking, fast-spreading web. Look at how it branches out so quickly. Kinda creepy, but also cool. The ribbon worm uses this mechanism to snare its prey in place. The creature is built with an entire digestive tract similar to most animals with a mouth on one end and an anus on the other. It also has a proboscis which is an elongated appendage or a trunk of sorts. When the worm detects a prey nearby, a muscular layer around its proboscis sheath rapidly and vigorously contracts. This contraction then forces the web fluid to squirt out from the proboscis and ultimately snares the unsuspecting prey that it's hunting. The fluid isn't just sticky, but also contains mucus that has a neurotoxin which paralyzes its victim. Pretty hardcore. These creatures can reach up to 98 feet long, though they are just a few millimeters wide. What an odd-looking thing. Surprised at what these animals can do to protect themselves? What are your thoughts on them? Let us know in the comments, and while you're at it, be sure to hit the like button, share, and subscribe. See you next time!